a word of caution. Dear friends, we have witnessed an unusually stressful and challenging elections and vote casting process under very difficult conditions in most cases. Yesterday, some people's voting didn't start till around 1 p.m. Some people in some places had rains and all manner of things, all manner of strenuous conditions. But I saw patriotism, enthusiasm, and the determination of our nation's citizens for a change of story like I have never before seen. Record-breaking turnout crowds. Our polling unit, maybe the crowd multiply like 10 times of what it has ever been with multitudes of first-time voters. Unfortunately, the human demons in our country and their lunatic mad agents in various parts of this country didn't allow for a peaceful and just process in those places. Video recordings of their misdeeds were flying from Lagos, from Rivers, from Kogi, from Anambra, etc. with thugs at the helm of affairs as certain units. Someone was saying, if you are not voting our party in a particular polling unit in Lagos and the police was standing right there, live here. What a country. I thought I had an order that every talk should be shut down at sight. There was a place where the gate was locked and the talks told the people, if you, do, if you are not voting our party, they are party. They are disastrous, nonsense, useless party. Don't come in here. In some places, people are told, if you don't want to vote our party, go back to your place. In certain places, there was a report, report of no more presidential ballot papers. But there were ballot papers for senatorial and house of reps. There were other places where a particular party's logo and name was not on the ballot paper at all. Also, there were cases of thugs snatching ballot papers. Underage voting, I think they showed me a clip of a boy of about, is it four years or five years, six years, casting a vote somewhere. The question is, who are the kinds of leaders or aspirants who will orchestrate those kinds of criminality? They are worthless, valueless generational liabilities, mobile disasters who have neither the credibility, relevance or quality to command any form of followership or win any form of credible election. So they have to resort to criminality, thuggery and all forms of manipulative devices to attempt to win. The Lord rebuke you. Those are prim primordial Medieval, outmoded, antiquated, outdated, primitive, obsolescent entities. Ancient people who belong only to history and not to the modern times. Bringing stone age, barbaric, savage, bestial, animal behavior into contemporary times. Using ballot snatching and voter intimidation. When you look at them, they look like animals. Both those dogs and those who send them like animals. What monkeys will not do? What baboons will not do? And uh, what these human demons in the name of so-called aspiration, aspiring leaders, animals trying to lead a human, human beings? Impossible. Animals trying to lead people. Animals, apes, trying to lead human beings. It is impossible. We announced that they are at the end of their road politically and otherwise, since they have confirmed that they don't belong to this age. Who are these kinds of leaders? They are detestable, abhorrent, reprehensible, obnoxious, odious personalities, bent on immersing the nation in the flavor of shame and ignominy in the eyes of the international community as they watch all the terrible things through their contemptible, secreted, abominable electoral crimes and actions. Bringing Nigeria into odium and opprobrium. We announced that the shame 
that they are bringing, trying to bring on the nation remains their shame forever. It remains the shame of all that pertains to them forever. Voting manipulation. All manner of things. Now, despite all these abnormalities cited, the people of Nigeria overwhelmingly expressed their choice of leadership through their vote. Everywhere, everywhere. Voting against even so-called aspirants and winning them in their own grounds. In their polling units. Winning them in their territories, in their so-called states. The people spoke through their vote. This is my counsel to INEC. INEC be strongly advised to do the right thing and do it on time. Issues of inability to uphold, upload results on server. Failure of resource upload from Beaver's machines. Delay in the arrival of results, especially from the northern parts of this country, is raising cause suspicion. They are raising a lot of suspicion. What was the use of giving the hope to the country? I next is ready. Beaver's machine, automatic transmission of res results. And yet we are here, still here now. Result manipulation and all manner of things are still going on. Kindly ensure that this is not game as usual. Every attempt at scuttling the will of the people or frustrating the zeal of the youth will only produce unimaginable consequences. You are not dealing with dummies. You are dealing with intelligent people. Nigerians are tired of the games of these demonic agents. And we are not going to take it anymore. People have voted. They are watching their votes. People already have the results of their polling units, etc. As confirmed at the end of the voting exercise. Just be wise. Do the right thing. And go down in history in honor. I'm talking to the ILEC leadership right now. The chairman. Do the right thing. And go down in history in honor and dignity. Or do the wrong thing. And go down in shame and ignominy and infamy forever. God bless Nigeria. Stand up for your feet, people. We are not, we are not, hear me. We are not going to take, we are not going to take rubbish from anybody. We are not going to take garbage from anybody. You can't take anybody for the ride. You have taken us for the ride for too long. And now we won't take rubbish. Lift up your hands. The Bible said there are many devices in the heart of man. 200 million people taken for a ride by a few, a few, a few irresponsible, redundant, remotely disconnected human entities that don't belong to this present age. Few of them, handful of them. Valuable for nothing. They are sellable for nothing. They are not marketable. Taking a whole nation for the ride. You are, you are, you are joking. You haven't, you are joking. Lift up your hands. The Bible said in the book of Job chapter 5 verse 12. There are many devices in the heart of a man. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Lift your hands and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that your counsel, that your counsel in, Nigeria in Nigeria shall stand. Shall stand. Your, counsel your counsel in Nigeria, in Nigeria shall, stand. shall stand. Your counsel, your counsel in, Nigeria in Nigeria shall stand. Shall stand. Say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you frustrate, that you frustrate the, counsel the counsel of the devil, of the, the, agenda the agenda of wickedness, of wickedness in, this in this nation. Frustrate, frustrate the, counsel. the counsel. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray.